Hello, my name is Daniel Manaza, and I'm with the Cisco Tech Architecture team. In this video, I will guide you through the password recovery process for Cisco IOS XE routers in autonomous mode by demonstrating the procedure on an ISR 4451. However, this process extends to other IOS XE routers in autonomous mode, including ASR 1000s, ISR 4000s, and Catalyst 8000 routers. Let's get started. Password recovery is a procedure that allows us to gain access to the router in case of a lost or forgotten password. The process allows the user to boot the device with the default configuration to restore access, and then the user can load the original configuration back in and update the credentials. Please note that this process requires power cycling the router as well as console access, whether that's physical access with a direct console connection or remote console through a terminal server. This procedure also assumes that password recovery has not been explicitly disabled by the user previously. First, power off the router using the power switch or by disconnecting the power cable. You can refer to the hardware installation guide for your particular platform to find the location of the power supply and any power switches. This is the documentation for the ISR 4451, which is being used for this demonstration. Once the router is powered off, ensure you have a console connection to the router. Then power on the router by toggling the power switch or reconnecting the power cable. You should see initializing hardware followed by some initial logs showing the boot process. As soon as you see these logs, repeatedly send break signals so we can drop into ROM on mode. Control C is the simplest method to send a break signal, but there are other options available. Some terminal applications have a method for sending special commands like break sequences. We should then see the router boot into Raman mode. We can identify this by the Raman prompt here. Next, we can change the configuration register with the config 0x2142 command. The 4 here tells the router to ignore the startup configuration at boot up, so the router will revert to its default configuration. Note that this does not erase your saved configuration. The configuration is not loaded from persistent memory into DRAM. It's simply ignored. We can then run the sync command to save the configuration register changes we made. Now we can run reset to reboot the router with the startup config ignored. Once the router boots up, you'll notice that it is operating with the default configuration. Then we can enter privileged exec mode with the enable command. Originally, this is where we were blocked by the forgotten password, but we can see that we're now successfully into privileged exec mode. Important, be sure not to save the configuration just yet. An accidental save here will overwrite your startup config with the current default config. Collecting a show startup config output is a good idea to avoid an accidental overwrite of your configuration. Instead, we want to copy the startup configuration from NVRAM into the current running config using copy startup config running config. This will load the desired configuration. We can then enter global configuration mode and set a new enable password or other user credentials. We need to restore the configuration register value back to its default so that the startup config is no longer ignored on reboot. We can do so by applying config-register 0x2102 while still in global configuration mode. We can then exit out of configuration mode using the end command and save the configuration with copy running config startup config. Then it's generally a good idea to reload once more to ensure the router comes back up as expected with the initial configuration applied with the new password credentials intact. If you encounter any problems with this process, please open a TAC case for further assistance. Thank you for watching.